Welcome back to Coffee Talk. Uh, today's Wednesday, September 30th, 2020. Uh, let's check out the headlines for today. Protests rise over government treatment of Atlantic immigrants. And I, I know I pretty much say this every episode, but again, it's truly amazing to me how this game is able to predict a lot of what's going on in 2020. Because unfortunately, that, you know, that image that we're seeing right there is not really something that's unfeasible or even something that isn't really ha- or it's something that's actually happening today um perhaps the protests uh the the topics are slightly different but um you know this kind of situation is the same which is kind of shocking um let's check out the sub headlines and see if uh, we see anything happier there dwarven made cars face challenge against an unexpected competitor okay and the mother earth organization fights to save more forests all right so we end on like a note of environmental conservation so it's a good place to start and with that we'll start the day first customer welcome good evening sir hello i'm from the federal immigration regulation and enforcement division uh i don't really like where we're starting with this episode. Kind of scared, actually. Or F I R E for short, fire. How may I help you? We've heard reports of alien sightings in this area. We take the issue of illegal interstellar immigration seriously. Have you seen any creatures you were considered to be alien in nature? I'm not going to rat out Neil. He's just here to breed <laughs> and create a superhero. He's really sweet. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna, you know, sell him out to you. Um, well, you know what? We'll we'll see what he wants. Um, let's just see what he wants. Hmm. I I don't think so. But what should I be looking for? What's the alien look like? We're not 100% sure. But according to some eyewitnesses, it's wearing a spacesuit or something similar. That's uh. That's a pretty eye-catching outfit. You'd think an illegal alien would try to blend in better, right? To avoid attention, you know? That is a very good point. In fact, there might be a solid possibility that we have been running around after false testimonies. Oh, nice. It seems we um, threw him off Neil's scent. And I'm rooting for Neil. They're superior creatures, after all. Thank you for the help. If you see any suspicious activities, please contact us through our website. Uh, will do, sir. You don't want to drink anything before leaving? We're good. Take her on your way. Wait, he said we're. He said, like, we are good. Just like Neil keeps talking in, you know, the first person inclusive. Or plural. Like, Neil keeps referring to himself as we. And this guy referred to himself as we. Am I reading into that too much? I don't know. I feel like something fishy is going on. Regardless. Phew. <sighs> you really need to be more careful, Neil. Huh? Oh, it's Aqua. By the, you know, by the Squidward sounds. Oh, it's Aqua and Myrtle. Good evening, Andrew. Yo. Uh, hello, Miss Aqua, Miss Myrtle. Have you both been somewhere together? We plan to be here. It's just a coincidence we arrived at the same time. Would you like to order anything? Do you want to order first? No, nah, you go first. Okay. Can I have a cup of green tea with a lot of mint? All right. Um, green tea. You know, I don't even have to look at the guide for this one because uh, she only asked for two ingredients. Green tea. Uh, let's do a lot of mil uh, mints. That's two mints. Serve it up. The Marrakech. Mar Marrakesh? Your drink's ready. Ooh, this looks really fresh. I call this, I call this Marrakesh, inspired by its origin. Marrakesh in Morocco? I heard the people there really love tea. Let's give this a try then. Oh my, it's warm but very refreshing. No wonder Morocco is often associated with tea. I've actually never heard of that. That's really interesting. Uh, how about you, Miss Myrtle? Do you want to order right away? Sure. I'll have the tea, the, the tetaric. Do we have that in a uh, brew pad? Because it doesn't really register right off the bat. 
doesn't look like it. Um, you know, let's just briefly check Tomodachi. He's been blood sober for 10 years now. Good for you. Oh, here's Neo. Uh, of course, his profile is empty. He doesn't seem to be very uh, social media savvy. Um, and I had to look at the guide, but it looks like two teas and a milk is the way to make the Tetaric. Let's brew it up. Or serve it. Here's your, tea, here's your Tetaric. I, I, I apologize if I'm pronouncing that wrong. Huh? Is there anything wrong? No. <laughs> it's better than I thought it would be, actually. The taste is really authentic. Just like the Tetaric you get in the Southeast Asia. Oh, thank you for the compliment. Where did you learn to make it? I traveled around Southeast Asia a few, a few years ago. So you learned about it in Malaysia? Yes, and from videos on the internet. So, um, how are things going in the office? As usual, tiring. Thanks to you and your team. We've made some good progress with the problem we've been stuck on for a while. I'm glad I could be of help. It's not every day our research can have an, have an impact as direct as this. Only a few weeks after publication, no less. The thing is, even with your help, we still need to do a ridiculous amount of overtime to make sure the game will be available for the holiday season. Oh. I want to say please don't forget to rest, but I'm sure it won't be that easy for you and your team. Huh. <laughs> As if those executives care about us. Overtime is not mandatory, they'll say. Please see your family, get some rest. But we all know, that optional overtime is a passive-aggressive move. We'll stay longer in the office anyway. Because if you go home earlier than the others, you'll feel bad for them. You'll feel guilty. I understand that so much. I hate to admit it, but yeah, it's guilt. I wish I could help you. Or at least say something to boost your morale. Sadly, I'm not the right person to give you advice about that. For guilt is something that also bothers me a lot. Even for things I shouldn't feel guilty about. And you know what makes it worse? I know the state of the industry. But it still saddens me to realize my favorite series was born out of such sacrifice. I'm sorry you're in the mood for everyone. <laughs> Don't worry about it, Aqua. I'm not that bad off, you know. At least the company gives us decent compensation. Healthcare, bonuses, and so on. And we're already used to this. So don't you worry about me, okay? Getting used to unhealthy working conditions shouldn't be a norm. Hey, cheer up. Remember, your research helped us out a lot. Thanks to you, the rest of the development is going to be much easier. How's your game doing, by the way? Actually, I have some good news about it. What is it? The game got approved to be showcased at Max West this year. That's really good news. Congrats. Thank you. So, what's the problem then? I haven't confirmed my attendance to the organizer. Why? Confirm it. Fast. Before they give your spot up to another indie. I, I'm just not sure about it. What's stopping you? Cost? The booth is free for indies. That's good then. And the event's even in Seattle. You don't need to spend anything on travel or accommodation. It's a golden ticket. But... I'm not that confident. You passed the selection process, right? That should be enough validation to reassure you of your game quality. If I'm not mistaken, the judges are usually prolific people in the industry, and also senior journalists. I know. But I've been told- uh, but I've told you about my game, right? It's... pretty non-traditional. And thousands of people will be visiting Max. Expecting Full Metal Conflict and other bigger games. Every game has its own market, you know. And you'll be in the indie area. People know what to expect there. Gamers aren't stupid. What if some haters visit the booth? What if they don't like my game and say bad things about it? Or about me? That's not gonna happen. It's an expo, not the internet. People are way nicer in real life. <laughs> Even after all that, I'll still be there by myself for the whole event. Hmm. That one is a problem, yeah. Meeting that many people is already scary enough. 
Doing it for four days straight. Showing my baby to the public. I just can't imagine the horror. Is murder going to go with her? I feel like that's... You know what? Huh? So far, my schedule is pretty empty around then. Yeah, nice. If things stay this way until Max, I'll come with you. Uh, no, you don't have to do that. Even if you're free then, you shouldn't waste your time on me. Relax, or something. Nah, it's no bother. I'll be going to the event anyway. Might as well come with an exhibitor badge. What about your company's booth? Don't worry about it. There are hundreds of us. I can just ask my lead to skip this year. But, but, what? I'm coming with you, whether you like it or not. Oh, okay. <laughs> Good. Now, what are you going to show the game on? I'll have a laptop and a smartphone. Is the expo build ready? Expo build? You're not planning to showcase the full version, right? Um, that's the plan. Don't. I can give you the guidelines on what to have for the expo build. Do you have the game with you now? It's on my phone. I can send you the bill now if you want. Do so. Okay. Got it. Now let's see. Another customer. Is this going to be Freya? Oh no, it's Rachel. Hello, Miss Rachel. Hi, Andrew. <clears throat> What's wrong? Huh? Nothing. I've just been practicing all day, and I'm pretty tired. Are you having a concert too? Don't tell anyone yet, it'll be announced tomorrow. But I'm going to perform at Coachella next week. They're still adding new performers? Yeah, you might say that you might say that those announced this late are backups. Oh. But it's still the biggest festival in the country. <laughs> yes. And I'm excited for it. I think I should celebrate with a special drink. Something sweet. What do you want to order? A sweet hot chocolate. Alright. Um, and looking at the uh, guide here. She wants it super sweet. So that means that we're putting in chocolate powder. And we're putting in honey. And milk. Let's brew it up. And we got a Choco Bee Miruku. Let's serve it up. Here's a drink. Oh, it looks very pretty. And it's warm and sweet. I love it. Please don't hesitate to call me if you need anything else. Thanks. Other than the instruction on the loading screen, try putting a time limit on how long they can play. Why? Wouldn't that break their immersion? Probably, but in case there's a good reaction to it, you might have people lining up to play your game. You don't want to make them wait too long. That makes sense. If you don't want to put a time limit on it, try ending the demo with a cliffhanger. That's also pretty good advice. You know, if people are going to buy the game anyways, um, or if people, if you want people to buy the game, you don't want to reveal everything in a demo. That's to get people's attention. Noted. Now is it going to be Fred? Dad? Oh, jeez. What are you doing here? After what you did at the studio this evening. I was worried. I couldn't find you around the studio. So I thought you'd be here. And now you're causing another ruckus. We're sorry, Andrew. We didn't mean to cause you any problems. You are sorry. I don't have anything to be sorry for. Well, anyway, I better order something. Uh, sure, what are you having? What would you recommend? Uh, might I suggest a cup of Spanish Sahara? Oh, what is that? It's basically hot chocolate with milk and ginger. Sounds delicious. I'll take that Spanish Sahara. Alright, so... It's chocolate, milk, and ginger. I'm not a fan of ginger in real life. So I would never put that in my hot chocolate. Let's serve that though. Your drink is ready, sir. Why am I? This is amazing. Glad you liked it. Dad. 
Yes? Please just go home after you finish your drink. Not until you leave that good for nothing pervert. Who's talking about the manager? I need him. He's gonna help me become more successful. I know Morris. He's not a good person. The industry has changed that. It's not like 20 years ago. Besides, since you left, he's been growing his brand, making his name. Managing a lot of stars so they become superstars. I still have my informants in the industry. He hasn't changed much. And even if he has, it wasn't for the better. You're just being paranoid. First, you, first you were afraid of how my fans would treat me. Now you're afraid of the industry too. What's next? You lock me in the house because you're afraid of the air I'm breathing? You're just too young to understand. Then make me understand. Because this is definitely not helping. There are better ways. Didn't you learn anything from mom? You're together for almost 15 years, but you learned nothing. Not even how to talk to your own daughter. Rachel. I... I'm sorry. But I'm trying, okay? Try harder. Because right now, you're not helping anyone. Not me, not you, no one. I know. But give me a chance. You know what? It will take time for me to learn. But I am learning. Or, you know. I could return to the industry. I could try to be your manager. Dad, are you out of your mind? You've been out of touch for so long. I told you, I have informants there. I'm not that out of touch. Of course, there are things I need to figure out. But we... It doesn't work that way, Dad. You know that. Going from a girl band to a solo career won't be easy. If I take things slow, I'll lose all my momentum. If you don't want me to be your manager, can you at least choose someone other than Morris? I don't think so. Mr. Lester is at the height of his career now. He's my best chance right now. Don't be too paranoid, okay? I've made my decision. Now please go home. Relax. And don't ever come to the studio again. I'm going back there. I need to practice for the festival. It's only a few days away. And it's a big chance to boost my presence as a solo artist. When are you going to be home? I don't know. I'll be staying at the hotel the label provided. But that's... See you then. Wait, Rachel. Yeah, so it seems despite the advice the officer Georgia gave him, his relationship with Rachel has not really improved. Excuse me for a moment, Andrew. Dang. That's really rough. Uh, I was, I'm, I'm sorry about what just happened. You don't have to apologize. Yeah, we are busy minding our own business anyway. What? You didn't hear their argument, Myrtle? Of course I heard them. I just chose to ignore most of it. It's none of my business, is it? That's amazing. What's so amazing about that? I don't think I can do that. Dividing and focusing my attention so completely, especially when there's an argument like that. Are you saying that you weren't listening to my advice and you're focusing on them instead? <laughs> no, I was listening. I, I made notes. See, you didn't even realize. But you are capable of focusing your attention. Now that you mention it, it happens naturally, I guess. Being born into a big family is useful after all. Yeah, sometimes we don't even realize what we're capable of doing. By the way, you want to head back now? Yeah, it's pretty late. Yo, Andrew, we're leaving. I uh, hope you had a good time. Thank you for the drinks, Andrew, as usual. Please take care on your way home. It's weird that Freya didn't visit today. I hope everything's alright. Huh, I guess that's all for to. Oh. Oh, he's back. Oh, you're back, Mr. Henry. Are you alright, sir? Sir? Oh. Yes, yes. Please don't worry about me. Did you manage to catch up with Miss Rachel? No. I lost her. I'm sorry to hear that. But I'm sure she's alright. I hope you're right. By the way, pardon me for asking. Yes? Throughout your arguments with Miss Rachel, something kept bugging, bugging me. What's that? Why did you leave the music industry? <laughs> now that's a trip down memory lane. You don't have to tell me if it makes you uncomfortable. Oh no, it's fine. I left around 20 years ago, just as we were welcoming the beginning of the new millennium. It was a great time for girl bands, you know. 
They were huge in the 90s, and they were still enjoying the leftover sensation of the past decade. I met my wife while working. She worked for a record label. That's how we met. I decided to get married and settle down. I wanted a peaceful life. You didn't find peace managing girl bands? Oh gosh, no. The politics, the dark side of the industry, none of it's good. But what hit me hardest was the fans. Toxic fans are the worst. The teenage girls especially, they were crazy about their idols. To the point where they started doing really unimaginable stuff. Like what? Spending all their money trying to copy the superstar lifestyle, abandoning their responsibilities, their families, and the men. They were even worse. They sexualized the girls in every way you could possibly imagine. Edited photos, stalking, outright sexual assault. It was before the internet, mind you. I mean, the internet existed, but it wasn't as mainstream as it is now. I wasn't even the target of the abuse, but it haunted me. It was everywhere. Don't talk to me about peace. I couldn't sleep back then. Not getting enough sleep is dangerous for cats. What do you do for a living now? After we got married, my wife and I opened a record store. It's not that big, but we have a very specific audience. We're niche, but they love us for it. It's more than enough for our little family. You said you're still in touch with your friends in the music industry. They visit my place from time to time. And we all meet up at least once a year. Usually, it's at my place. Gosh, look at that time. I should go home too. Are you going to be alright by yourself? Don't worry about me. I'm an old cat. We're stronger than most people think. See you later, Andrew. And sorry for bringing our fright to your place. Don't worry about it. Alright then. Goodbye. <sighs> Dang, so it sounds like uh, Rachel's father is also coming from a pretty difficult place. Not really sure whose side to take in this. Um, seems like Rachel's father does have some insight um, and scoops that show that her manager is not a good person. But also, I think Rachel's more frustrated that she doesn't, or he, her father doesn't trust her even though she's an adult. So it's kind of like discrediting her capabilities or not treating her at, like a like an adult. Not sure who to side with, but I'm sure, you know, their dilemma won't end there and they'll return in the next episode or in a later episode. So until then, thanks for watching.